I never know how to start these Q&A videos. Like, do I just cough? Do I make a weird noise and then continue in? It always feels awkward. It always feels awkward. Hi! I asked you guys to send me questions for a Q&A, and here's that Q&A questions. First question, uh, how do you stop hating yourself, oh boy, when it feels narcissistic to say you deserve love and to love yourself? A big thing about being a person is that you generally are way more critical of yourself than the world is of you. It is not narcissistic to say that you deserve love. It's not that at all. It's a fact. It takes time. It takes practice, uh, but you'll get used to it. You'll get there because you're right. You do deserve to feel love and you do deserve to love yourself. You're correct in that statement. How are you? Loaded question. Uh, right now, a little bit sick. Mostly tired, but doing all right. I've had a number of different uh, revelations about myself recently that have been painful and difficult, but also very, very good. Creatively, I don't know exactly what I want right now, but in a way that's good because that's pushing me to find that. Most of my mood is based on these existential crises at the moment. We're gonna get through it together though. I promise you that. What do you think of people who don't want to date someone if they're too short slash not tall enough? People have their preferences. Sometimes they're based on not so great things. Other times they're just something they can't control. Uh, it happens. Don't get hung up on people who don't want you because uh, they don't want you. Whatever their reasons are, if they don't want you, it's not really your job to convince them to want you. Sometimes people get hung up on really superficial and arbitrary stuff and that's not something that you can really change. That's kind of their problem that they have to kind of go through and figure out. Sometimes they never will figure it out, but that's not, again, that's something you can't control. So if someone rejects you because of some trait that you have, that that is their thing and not your thing. And I'm I say what I always say, you don't want somebody who doesn't want you for whatever reason. You don't want that person. Go out there and meet someone who is a bit more open-minded and less focused on things that really don't matter at all. Go find that person because they're there and they're real. Have you ever traveled? Uh, not in any kind of like just to travel way. I've been a lot of places though. I've been up and down the east coast of the US, but uh, a thing that I really would like to change is that I've never left the continent of North America. Never done that. Hopefully my life and schedule will change in a way that will allow me to do some of that in the future. Unfortunately, it's not there right now, but uh, but maybe it'll get there someday. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the peacock mantis shrimp. I have put a video link in the description called True Facts About the Mantis Shrimp, and, uh, and I want you to watch it, I want you to absorb it, and I want you to really feel it because this creature it's just, it's so rad, I can't even begin. Just watch the video and change your life for the better. <laughs> the guy I like told me he's asexual. Should I still go after him? I'm not sure if he's aromantic. Should I ask him about it? I don't know, do you like this guy? Do you wanna go after this guy? Like, what are your feelings here? Sounds like you like this guy, so I don't know. If you're curious, if you wanna know more about whether y'all are compatible, ask him about it, for sure. You just need to look at yourself, too, and think, okay, what will work for me? What in a relationship do I actually want? What do I want out of a relationship with this person in particular? Because you can't change who this person is so definitely try and find out if this is something that'll work for you I would say if you're curious just keep getting to know this person in other words date them for a little bit and find out if this is something you want thoughts on Canada Canada's yeah yeah you got it you got you guys got it you got it what's your favorite thing about being bisexual yeah <laughs> I like this question is funny I like this one most of the time when people talk about sexuality and like in, in a public forum they're talking about the bad stuff uh, but I yeah this is awesome realistically my favorite thing is that um is that for me I don't rule out any possibilities in regards to what my relationships will look like I don't claim to know what'll happen but I'm open to every possibility and that's really exciting to me and really honest to me and I'm happy that I'm in a position where that's my reality. I also really like, uh, <laughs> this is awful, but I like confusing people. <laughs> people get so confused because they don't know how to label me. They're not sure if I'm straight or gay and that just like causes some fuses to get blown and they just get so flustered about it. But it's like, dude, I'm bi and that's how this is. <laughs> nah, but being bi is great. Nah, it's the best, I'd recommend it. <laughs> I, would, I would definitely recommend it. Five out of five stars, would totally recommend. That's all the time I have for this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. Something cool that's happening this month is that I'm trying out a new live streaming app. It's called Live.me. 
Uh, there's info in the description about where to download it. It's a free app. I've done a couple broadcasts already. It's really fun. Engagement's really rad, and it's just a, it's a fun time. So for the month of May, uh, most weekdays, I'm going to be doing streams on this Live.me platform. To keep posted on when I'm doing these streams, you can follow me on all my social networks. I'll be posting about it there. That is about it for me, though. I'm going to go, and uh, I will see you guys next time on Monday. No, music is back. Music is back. I want to thank uh, the artist who has allowed me to use the music. Uh, the link to his SoundCloud is in the description. Please go check him out. He's been very awesome. He reached out to me and I was like, dude, your stuff is dope. And so I'm using his tunes now. Using his tunes. Very excited about that. I'm going to go now. Goodbye.